एचसी वर्मा चैप्टर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव कंसिडर द सिचुएशन सोन इन द फिगर ऑल द सर्फेस आर फ्रिक्शन लेस एंड द स्ट्रिंग एंड द पुली आर लाइट फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द टू ब्लॉक्स एज वी नो दैट थ्री फोर एंड फाइव आर पाइथोगोरियन ट्रिपलेट द वेज मस्ट बी इन द शेप ऑफ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल एंड द टू इंक्लाइन मस्ट बी परपेंडिकुलर टू इच अदर लेट द इंक्लाइन इन द लेफ्ट मेक एंगल थीटा विद जनरल देन द इंक्लाइन ऑन द राइट विल मेक एन एंगल नाइनटी डिग्री माइनस थीटा विद जनरल Since both the blocks are connected to a single string, both must experience equal tension and must move with same acceleration. Let the tension be T and acceleration A in the direction shown. Now let us make the free body diagram of the block in the left. A gravitational force mg will act on it in vertically downward direction. Tension T upward along the incline and normal reaction perpendicular to the incline. As we have assumed, the block will slide down the incline with a constant acceleration A. From simple geometry, we can easily conclude that gravitational force makes an angle theta with the direction perpendicular to the incline. So, the component of the gravitational force along the line perpendicular to the incline is mg cos theta. Also, the component of gravity along the incline is mg sin theta. Writing the equation of motion along the incline, we get mg sin theta minus t is equal to ma. In the free body diagram of the other block, gravitational force mg will act downwards, tension t up the incline, and normal n dash perpendicular to the incline. block will move up along the incline with acceleration a since inclination of the incline on the right is 90 degree minus theta the component of gravity along perpendicular to the incline will be mg cos 90 degree minus theta which is equal to mg sin theta similarly component of gravity along the incline is mg sin 90 degree minus theta that is mg cos theta writing the equation of motion along the incline we get t minus mg cos theta is equal to ma adding equation 1 and 2 we get mg sin theta minus mg cos theta is equal to 2ma which implies 2a is equal to g sin theta minus cos theta that is a is equal to g by 2 sin theta minus cos theta now let us rotate the wedge what we have is a right angle triangle with base 3 meter perpendicular 4 meter and hypotenuse 5 meter and the angle that the hypotenuse makes with the base is theta sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse that is 4 by 5 cos theta is base by hypotenuse that is 3 by 5 putting the values of sin theta and cos theta in acceleration that is g by 2 into sin theta minus cos theta we get a is equal to g by 2 into 4 by 5 minus 3 by 5 which is equal to g by 10 this is our answer to request solution of any question from hc or my book post the question number and chapter number in comments below please share and like the video to help students find us subscribe the channel for further updates thank you for watching